I bequeath to you this ring. Hey, it's Fifth Nine, and this video is an update from my first video, and this time we're gonna upgrade a crossbow to plus 10. Let's go to fourth height to get the first Dectus medallion. We need the two medallions to go to Aldis Plateau, where the weapon is located. Next is 4th Farath, this is where the 2nd uh, Medallion is found. Now that we have both medallions, let's go over to the Grand Lift of Dectus. From this side of Grace, we'll go here. We'll use the Spirit Spring to go over the cliff and to the Grand Lift of Dectus. We'll use the medallion here. Now that we're in Altus Plateau, let's make our way to the Craftsman's Shack where the crossbow is located.
now that we have our weapon, let's start upgrading it to plus 10. Let's go over to this location. We're going to use the way gate here to travel to Rhea Lucario. Touch the side of Grace here. We can't go inside yet without the glintstone key, so let's get the key. It's located here. So from the same area, we'll jump here and go to the Glintstone Key location. Fast travel back to the side of Grace, break the seal using the glintstone key, and head inside Raya Locario. Let's head over inside and go to a specific mob, Abductor Virgin, that will teleport us to Volcano Manor. This is the fastest way to get to Volcano Manor this early in the game. We need to go to Volcano Manor to get our Somber Smitting Stones 5, 6, and 7 that we'll use to upgrade our weapon. Ride this contraption here, all the way down, to get to the Abductor Virgin. Let this mob capture you and you should die inside to get teleported to Volcano Manor. Now that we're in Volcano Manor, let's get our somber smitting stones. Here's the Somber Smitting Stone 6. Ride the small elevator up. Here's the Somber Smitting Stone 5. Avoid this mob. I'll close the game here to reset the aggro so I don't die. Push the lever for the bridge. The Somber Smitting Stone 7 is right up there beside another Abductor Virgin. 
To reach it, we need to jump to this small pole, then jump to this chains, and jump to the area where the Somber 7 is. This jump is very tricky and might require practice to get it. Head over here and try to avoid all the mobs. and touch the side of grace here. Let's head over to blacksmith AG, located here, to buy our somber smitting stones 1, 2, 3, and 4. And since we're already here, let's upgrade our weapon to plus 7. Let's now get our somber smitting stones 8 and 9. Luckily they're both located almost in the same area. We need to kill this teardrop scarab for the somber smitting stone 8. And we can find the Somber Smitting Stone 9 here. For the Somber Ancient Dragon Smitting Stone, we need to complete various quests, which I'm not gonna cover in this video. I'll link it in the description below instead. After completing various quests, he'll give you this item, Pure Blood Knight's Metal. Use it and it will teleport you to Mogwin Palace. We'll go here and get this somber ancient dragon smitting stone. Once inside this dark area, you go left. Then here you go right, then left again. The trick here is keep left and when stuck, just go right a little and find your way left again. Another trick here is don't pick up items, just keep going until you see the side of grace. The somber 10 is inside that box, so... What I do here is aggro that mob. Once he moves to you, get at the back and jump to the treasure box. And there you have it you now have a plus 10 unique weapon to start the game. And here's the no hit fight with Margit using the plus 9 version of this weapon. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching.
Now, Arthur. 